In today's PCM video, I will be uh, creating a 8088 computer with a PCM version 17. You, you'll need the following files. You'll need, you, if you don't already have PCM version 17, you can download it on this URL. Um, you'll need MS-DOS 3.3, MS-DOS 5.0, Mouse driver five. This is optional. You to test out um, ad lib if you want. I'll leave all the URLs in the video descriptions below. You could also uh, get the BIOS pack if you want. Okay, so let's begin. So first thing you have to do is you need to go into your PCM folder. You could put all the ROM files or the BIOS files in here into this folder, ROMs folder. Um, what I like to do is I like to make a shortcut for this, send it to the desktop. So I could just launch it from my desktop like so. And let's start. So I'm going to start this. I'm going to create a machine. Call it 8088 DOS. The maximum memory is 640 for this type of machine. I'm going to select the best processor. Select the FPU as well. Select VGA. Try to select the highest specs for this. Adlib. That. Serial mouse is good. We're going to select IDE. Going to select that for A drive. This for B drive. Uh, this chipset does not have, will not allow you to use high density disk, floppy disks of any type. You can't use 1.4 for high density. You must use 720K. There's no CD ROM for this. So I'm going to create a hard drive image. I think the maximum is 30 megabytes. Like that. What I like to do is I like to create a folder within my PCM folder called storage and put all my machines in there basically. Just going to delete that. All the eight zero eight eight. All at C drive dot VHD. Save. Okay. I also want a D drive. This is also going to be thirty megabytes. Save. Okay, now it's ready. Hate when this happens. Just when this happens, just right click with your mouse and shift and then move like that. So I'm going to put in a um,
MS-DOS 3.3 disk into A drive. And I'm going to boot from A drive. Enter, enter. I have F disk. Select one. One again, yes. Enter. Go back to floppy drive A, select that. Format C drive, yes. Okay, good. Disk again. I'm gonna select the next drive, number five. Enter. Create DOS partition. One. Yes. From A drive again. Format D drive. Okay, so I want to put in MS DOS five point zero. Here, the first disk, wrong disk, sorry about that, not the mouse, but the operating system, here it is. I got to put it into B drive, because that's for the 720. Seven twenty k and that'll be the 3.5 inch. Select it here and then boot, hard reset. And select B drive, boot from that. Should be able to install MS-DOS 5.0. Looks good. Everything looks good. So, MS-DOS 5.0, just follow directions and insert the disks when it asks for it. Insert the next disk, B drive. This to enter. Middle mouse click button and go to disk three. Enter. Okay, so remove the disk, just eject it, enter. Now I want to boot from my hard drive, which is 80H. Press Alt F, exit.
changing. Now I want to insert the mouse driver disk. Make a directory called drivers. Type that in. Eject the disk. Type in auto exec dot pt enter. Type in C drive drivers mouse dot com. That's going to allow us to start the mouse drivers. We could, we don't have to type in the mouse type in mouse every time to use the mouse so automatically this is we're doing this automatically when the computer starts so alt f save alt f x restart the computer Like the hard drive. The mouse works now. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to put in some of the files. Well, actually, I want to put adlib in first. Let me try to change this. Type in md adlib, make directory adlib. Copy the adlib files in the disk to my directory on D drive. I think everything from disk A to D drive ad lib. Eject uh, a drive. I want to try this out. See if it works. See if ad lib works. Okay, AdLib works. Now I want to put some games in here. So I'm going to shut this down. Type in computer management on your search bar on, on Windows 10. Go here. Go to storage, go to disk management. Click here. Attach VHD. Browse. Gonna select D drive, open this. Yes. Okay, good. So now I'm going to put some games in there. Everything in here to there. Okay. 
Okay, that's all good. Now let's. Uh, see if I want to put some more games in here or not. Okay, that, that looks good. Now I'm going to detach the VHD, which is here. Detach. Okay. I want to start PCM again. from the hard drive. Try some games. Try Operation Wolf. a little bit slow it loads very slowly let's see how it plays it is a bit choppy this is a very slow processor, but it is playable, nevertheless. Adlib is working. It's pretty amazing. And VGA, this type of computer was only meant to be used with CGA. Most most uh, IBM XD computers had only CGA or a monochrome. Very few of them had EGA or even VGA. Most of these type of computers only had PC sound. Okay, so it plays. Does work. Let's try Mech Warrior. Adlib works.
how it plays. Painfully slow. Almost to the point where it's not playable. That was painfully slow. Now it's. I think it's ideal for using a processor like this to play such games. Let's try other games. See how how well they perform. Try Dexter. That ran okay, but that's that kind of this game is probably built for an IBM XT. By LHX, let's see if this works. This game was released in 1990 by Electronic Arts.
It's kind of slow, but it's playable. Play this game. This was a very popular MS DOS game back in the late 1980s. VGA is working, which is good. It's a little bit slow, but it's still playable. Okay, that game ran okay. I think the CPU was released back in early 1980 or late 1970s. But I'll check that out later to see what it is exactly. Let's see, VTech. game like this doesn't require a lot of hardware specs. Just a role-playing game. Yeah, this game runs pretty good. No problems. Forgot what the keys were to get out, so I just started. That's what you did back in the old DOS days. If you didn't know the key to get out of the game, you just simply restarted the computer.
how this game runs. This game was released in 1990 by Sierra. It was developed by Game Arts. Good, let's play some music. That game ran pretty good. There were some sound distortions, but overall, it's playable. Try it came from the desert. Game was released in Okay, that was very, very slow. Very, very slow. I 
I thought it crashed or something, but it didn't crash. We just slowed. That's also very slow, the way it, that screen scrolled. Extremely slow. I don't think it's playable. It's so slow. This computer definitely was obsolete by 1989. Oh no, the ad, the ad man is coming after me. Got him. <laughs> this part runs okay. It is it is a little slow though. Okay, that's it for that. Shut that down. Take a look at the 8088. It was released in 1979, so I guess by 1989 it was almost a decade old. I knew I knew a couple of my friends who had this had a computer based on this processor. I think it was called an AST Premium or an ASTXT. I think the one that they had was a 5 megahertz or 4.7 megahertz.
was quite slow. They had it until, um, I guess, 1992. Okay, anyways, um, if you found this helpful, you could leave a thumbs up, share it with other people if they're interested, and uh, thanks for watching.